Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to highlight the maximum and minimum values in a column chart. So on my spreadsheet at the moment, I have a column chart showing product sales over the 12 months of the year. And although this column chart is doing a job, I wanted to try and clarify the top and bottom values. Especially in this example, the top values are not that clear. It's either February or December, but it's not that obvious which one of those is the better value. So I want to highlight them with a colour to be very clear on that. Now to do this, we're going to have to start with the range on the left hand side. I need to use column C, the next column along, and I need to use a formula to identify what the max and min values are. So let me start by putting in a header. So if I put um, max and min, and I'll use my format painter button quickly to keep the same formatting as the other headers. And I'm just going to zoom in on that sheet so that we can easily see what formula I'm going to write. Let's maybe move this chart over a bit as well so I have the space. That looks scary. Is it going to be big? It's going to be a little bit. Okay, so we need the if function because I want to test if that month sales is the maximum or minimum figure in this range, then display it. If not, show the show an error message. So in cell C4, let's start up my if function equals if open in bracket. And then for the logical test, I need to use the or function. Now what I want this for is because I need to test if it's the maximum or minimum. So I have two logical tests. I'm going to test if cell B4, January sales, is equal to the maximum figure. Let's use the max function. And I'm checking it against every value in that range. And I'm going to make that range absolute so that when I copy this formula down to the other rows, that range does not move. Let me now put in a comma so I can put in the second logical test which will be if b4 is equal to whatever the minimum value is in that range let's fix that make it absolute also with two closing brackets one there for the min function and then another one for the or function and i can see this bluish box below telling me I'm now in the if function and I can put a comma so that I'm on value of true. Now I'm going through this reasonably quickly uh, so apologies if you don't have much experience writing these kind of formulas or or functions. Uh, you can always check out more information like that uh, on our website at Computer Gaga. I just don't want it to distract us from our main goal here which is to set a criteria to change the colour of columns in the chart. But I've got what I need for now in there. There will be a link to um, a blog post in the description of this video where you can get this formula as well. I should quickly add that in. Okay, now the rest of this, the value of true will be to display that value, which is B4, comma, value if false is going to be a function called NA. Now that NA function is going to return the hash and A error message. So you may be wondering why I would want to do that and it's because we're going to use this data that we're generating here through the formula to create a second data series in our chart and the chart will not plot error values. So by displaying an error message 
I'm able to plot the max and min figures, but not the ones that aren't, uh, simply by returning an error. I need one more closing bracket there for the if function, and if I press enter, that should be good to go. Returns an error message, because that is not one of the maximum or minimum figures. But if I double click the fill handle to copy the function down, I can see it's done what I need it to do. It has returned the max and min. The minimum is September, the max is February. I can also format those values to look more appropriate. Let's bring our chart back into play and zoom out, because now I have that data that I need. Okay, I've got the column with our formulated values. The max and min values are identified. I now need those in my chart. So with my chart selected, I can see that the range I'm currently using is highlighted. I'm going to expand that range to pick up my new formulated column. And it will now include that in the chart. So as I said, notice that the error values are not plotted, but the max and min are. So they have been identified as a second column at the moment, uh, but the other non-max and min are not shown. So my next step is to give it the appearance that I only have one column in Feb and September, and that is of a different color, i.e. a highlighted max and min. To do that, I'm going to select one of the columns, and I'm going to click on Format under Chart Tools at the top, and Format Selection over on the far left. There are other ways of doing uh, that step, but that will open up the Format Data Series option on the right-hand side. If you're using a different version to my 2013 at the moment, it may appear as a dialog box or in some other form. 2013 is going to be on the right in this task pane. The same option will be there though, which is Series Overlap. And I'm going to change that to 100%. A 100% Series Overlap. If I press Enter, they now overlap completely. And if I close that data series, I now have what I was after. It now appears like I have changed the colour, kind of conditional formatting kind of technique on the maximum values. We know technically I have two data series and they're overlapping, but it gives us that nice appearance, brings a lot of clarity to that data. And just to confirm, if the November sales were to increase for some reason, uh, sorry, not November, December, um, and maybe they go up to 34,000, uh, which now makes that the max figure, it will update itself because of our formulated column and our chart are now with an easy way of identifying, uh, in this video, the max and min values. You can probably imagine that the formula that we've done in column C can be adapted for different conditions, different uses. This technique is really useful at trying to bring attention to what you need people to see in your chart. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other videos we have on our YouTube channel, or you can find us at computergaga.com.